Welcome to another lockdown beginners makeup series with me, Ian from Seventa Makeup Academy. Products from Treasure House of Makeup. Um, how are we? How are we? I'm very excited to be back. Um, so we are. Hello, Seventa Makeup Academy. We are returning back to normal. So I expect to see more of you watching this on the replay than the live because I'm hoping that you're all going to be working. But if you're not, and you've got something, uh, you know, if you've got 20 minutes to kill. Ah, oh, thank you. Looking young. I know. Looking young. She's looking young. Look at me. My new haircut. I know. I'm very happy. I went to my new, my friend Scott's new salon in Angel. Fabulous. It's called Kitsch. Kitsch hair. So, today we are, today we are talking, um, we're talking keloid scars. Now, keloid scarring is when the body starts creating layers upon layers of scar tissue and it doesn't know when to stop um it tends to be a congenital thing so it's not something you can catch shout out pride in london pride in Lo pride in lockdown here's my pride in lockdown t-shirt people if you st you can still support pride in london pride, pride in london pride in london um by buying the t-shirt so please go to the pride shop so yes kilo scarring um it's when the body doesn't know when to stop creating um scar tissue. Keloid scars um, is when the body doesn't know when to stop creating scar tissue so it creates layer upon layer of scars uh, of tissue. It looks red. Hello Gabriella, fabulous makeup artist. It's a very, um, it looks quite a fresh scar however it's not a scar. I mean I've, 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 I suffer from keloid scars. It, as I said they are congenital so when you have an operation and you have, um, you, you have some stitching done Eventually the stitching line should disappear with kilo scars the body creates one layer upon the next upon the next upon the next So you get like a little it looks like a little slug Where the scar was and it's essentially a kilo scar. It's not harmful. It doesn't do anything But some people do suffer and one of the things I want to work on today is creating a basic kilo scar Now you could use Bondo to do this uh, But I'm gonna use Sculpt gel so um, As I said, I don't have my tools yet because they're uh, they're still on in the studio, um, but we shall work with what we have. So, equal parts of A and B, please. Um, as I said, don't mix your tools, please. Do not mix your tools. So, kilo scars, yes, uh, some of us do suffer from the kilo scar, and they are, um, they are scars which create tissue upon tissue. They look raw, but they're not. Um, they look fresh, but they're not. I mean, I've got a scar there on, across my, my stomach where I had a, a hernia operation. Hello, Treasure Makeup. There we go. There we go. And you would think the scar is, is you know, it was is like a year old, but actually it's more like over 20, well, God, over 30 years old. Nah, no, actually, 25. There you go. Right, so, Kilo Scars. Make sure, hello, Treasure House. We're working on Kilo Scars, so we're doing... A bit of sculpt gel today and it'll be all colored so kilo scar in the body doesn't know when to stop creating scar tissue it just creates one upon the next upon the next okay so give your product a good old mix as I said I'm, I'm working with hello Morgan hairdressing fabulous hairstylist and congratulations Morgan she has just finished her makeup and hair degree I believe Morgan is soon to become um, a Bachelor of Arts well done, my love. Um, right. Kilo scars. Kilo scarring, people. Here's your A and B. As I said, I'm using my tools because my... I'm using home tools because my tools are in the studio. So we're still, we're still slightly in lockdown. So we thought we'd carry on. You know, I spoke to Treasure House and Saventa and we, wa we want to carry on bringing these videos once twice a week maybe just to keep them keep you talking about products keep you practicing at home so i want everything really well mixed okay really really good mix give it a really good mix right we're gonna go across here this is a scar that a lot of young lads get when they fall off the skateboard not that i've ever been on a skateboard in my life but I am told, and you see it quite a lot across the fort, the, chin, the across the chin there. So, 
Make sure we're just creating a scar over there. We'll tidy up in a minute. That's enough product. So now I get my other little tool. I can't wait to get my tools back. Can't wait to have my proper kit so I can actually. Some demos are going to be. Start, we are going to start doing the demos from the academy very soon. So now, ladies and gentlemen, you now start, I want to, we need to add an edge to the scar, okay? So I want you to blend a little bit. You start blending out the edge. As I said, you can do this with Bondo, but as a beginner, you may not have access to Bondo. So we do it this way. So blend that edge very gently. So what I'm doing is I'm blending my edge into the skin and we're going to keep we're going to keep working the scar in. As I said, you can do this with Bondo, but as a beginner, I don't want you I don't want you to be I don't want you to be worried about expensive products. You can do this with your basic stay at home kit. You could even do it with latex if you were clever. And in fact, it might help if I do the same demo with latex in another day. Okay. So keyload scarring, as we said, keyload scarring is when the body keeps creating layer upon layer of scar tissue, even though there's no scar, there's no damage. The body thinks it needs to create more scar tissue. And you end up with like a little raised pink sausage I call it I've got I suffer from them it's a congenital thing you can't catch it it's not it's not you know it's not going to kill you it's just the body gets a bit confused sometimes it has to be genetic now, I do want can you notice that I've kept it raised okay so you kind of want to have that raised level above like a little slug or a little sausage so be careful be careful when you're blending that you only blend out the edge and not the whole thing Okay, let's give that a quick hair dry. Here we go. Oh, hello, Johnny Hooley. Fabulous stylist to the stars. So, If you look at keloid scar, so that's K E 
K-E-L-O-I-D, keloid. That will give you the reference image you're looking at. It tends to characterize by light, by a light pink, followed by a darker indentation in the middle in, and on the sides. Yes? Where the scar was. Now, on a darker skin, it will appear a lot darker. So you need to learn, and it can be any color, any age as well. You need to learn to work with the various colorations. Depends what you have in the skin. It's not, as I said, it's not something that it's catching. It's just scar tissue being built on scar tissue. It happens a lot. And it's something that's an effect artist you will have to do. And it can look a bit put on and fake, but that is the look of the keloid scar. Oh. Well, that wasn't quite there. Ready? So, as you can fix that. Sarah Newman, makeup artist, has joined us. Fabulous body painter, there she is. Okay. So this is now dry-ish. As I said, you know I always tend to work a bit faster than normally. You want, you know, you have a five to ten minute working time with sculpt gel. I try to do it faster just for the purposes of demo. In. So now I want you just to give it a quick powder. So here I am using my Delium 163 brush. There you go. And as you can see, as you can see, it can look, it, it looks like a little slug, essentially. So now we're going to go with our, today we're gonna to use, um, we're gonna focus on the, the um, Ben Nye effects alcohol activated colors. So let's go with that one today. So we're going for dark burgundy first. With a very light wash of dark burgundy, okay? Very light. You give it the first. Um, I also want you to make it slightly brighter. So we're gonna go for the br red, the basic red. Yeah. And it can be a bit mottled. So don't worry about that. Okay. And now, now we're just going to do we're just going to do a little bit of an indentation line, a darker. So you go for the dark burgundy. This time you can be a bit heavier with the colour.
Now sometimes you might get a bit of a shadow where the scar was. Thanks, darling. My friend's new salon in Angel called Kitch. Kitch Hair. Check it out, people. Kitch Hair in Angel. As you can see, I'm just doing some coloration, just there. And then you might want to lift the scar a bit in the middle. And if you think it's a bit too much, because you might think it's a bit too much, just give it a quick dab with alcohol. Just to calm it down. And there we go. Very simple. Okay, that bit I've just put them there, I don't like. Um, very simple, very effective. This can be any size. Can be caused by any stitching or no stitching, because sometimes you end up with you end up with an injury that wasn't stitched. And there we go. Right, so that's another one of our beginners lockdown series. Please stay safe. Remember, we are not out of the out of the deep water yet. Keep safe. Keep your family safe, and I love you very much. And I'll see you very soon. Remember, the products we used today were FX Bruce palette from Ben Nye, Primary FX palette from Ben Nye, Neutral Set powder Ben Nye, and my Delian brushes one nine three and one five three. And I also use Sculpt Gel A and B. You can get everything from the Treasure House of Makeup website. And I love you very much. And I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye.